What's up? I'm Pirates G2, and damn it, Oda, why can't you give us a cool Usopp moment like this? <laughs> uh, but seriously, uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, make a little something different. Since One Piece is on break this week, I want to uh, do a, a non-reaction video focusing on uh, two of the arguably the weakest members of the Straw Hat crew, uh, Nami and Usopp. And uh, their fight against Page One and Ulti. And uh, I just feel like, and I, I, I don't think I'm the only one who thinks this, but I, uh, the, the way that Oda handled this this team up was a little muddled. The, the, but the fight itself, the, the pairing of Nami and Usopp teaming up against Ulti and Page One, that's perfect. Like, that, that's, that's a perfect matchup. I wouldn't change that. Uh, but just the way that it was handled was kind of, like, muddled. And uh, I just feel like there's a lot more potential that Oda could have tapped on. Like, um, but as, as we have it, as, as it was presented to us, uh, you know, it, it, in the last chapter, it, it all basically came to a head because uh, they finally defeated Ulti, which, you know, so, the, so I'm assuming that the fight is finally over, but... Uh, so that's why I'm making this video now. Uh, but just to recap the fight, it started off in that uh, around that time where the, the Straw Hats came together for that epic pose, like in the live floor. And um, it was like right after that, uh, Page One and Ulti were going in for the attack. And like Page One was about to like chomp down on Luffy as he was, and Luffy was like kind of running off. He didn't really see Page One. And, but then Usopp hit him with the Skull Bomb Grass, which he definitely is spamming a lot in this fight. It's pretty much one of his strongest attacks, I think, is a Skull Bomb Grass. Um, so, but he hits Page One with that. And then he, he kind of he hides behind Nobby, who's like kind of standing there looking mad. He, he's, he's like, oh, I'm Nobby. I'm the one who did that. And so he's kind of trying to draw the attack. Page one's attention to Nami because you know he's kind of cowardly, and um, but yeah. So then at, after that we don't see them for a while, and then we, we cut back. We see uh, we've missed a lot in terms of like like what's been going on in the fight because the next thing we know, Nami and Usopp look like they're almost defeated already. Like they and it, it's implied that they both took headbutts from Ulti, and I still don't understand how. They're durable enough to withstand that. Like I feel like one hit, and I feel like I think Ulti was in her hybrid form too. So I feel like that should like that would like I've said this before, but that would that should like kill Nami and Usopp if not just not. I mean, at least knock them unconscious. But but they look pretty bad, and then we have that moment where Nami is like, where, where Ulti's like, just uh, renounce your captain. You know, tell him that tell say that he'll never be the pirate king, and Nami's like. No, I'd rather die than say that. And it's like, it was like this emotional moment. And then it looks really hopeless for Nami and Usopp. And then we get uh, Otama and Komachio coming to the rescue. And uh, so the, the kind of Komachio chomps down on Ulti and like saves Nami. And then the chasing begins. We get, <laughs> then for the next, like for, for a while in that fight, it's just Page One and Ulti chasing after Otama, Nami, and Usopp on the back of Komachio. And it's just like, they're just shooting at them, but they just keep coming. And it's just like, we get a lot of that. Until, um, and eventually we have Big Mom show up, and that kind of throws a wrench into things. Um, and so, like, and then Big Mom, like, pummels the shit out of Page One because of, like, some pretty clever trickery. On Nami's part, uh, like blaming him for what happened to Okabori Town, and so that took out Page One. After, you know, after Page One got up from so much punishment, that's finally what put him down. Uh, the the Conqueror's hockey punch from a from a friggin' Yonko, which you know that, that's fair. And then of course, Ulti gets really upset by that, and uh, and when they start running again, she goes and just like like kicks the shit out of Komachio so he can't run anymore, and. Uh, and then you had that uh, the ending of that chapter, like that epic moment where uh, 
where Ulti like slaps Otama and then like Nami just like loses her shit. Like she just gets like she finally gets serious uh, right there when she she like shocks Ulti really bad and she's at the epic moment where she's like, Don't mess with Ulti or whatever. It's like that's cool and all, like the motherly rage of Nami, like that's a you know, that's definitely an aspect of her character. But Again, I mean, you can still have that. Like I said, you can still have Otama come in and Ulti maybe like hits or whatever, and you can still have Nami get really pissed off. But before that, you still could have had her be like cunning and clever, and uh, maybe just a little bit brave. So you know, I. Just, but so that was just to me that just ended up in the long run since Nami to directly after that Nami tried to defeat Ulti. After that badass moment, Ulti just dodged it, and then, like, <laughs> you know, then, of course, then the Big Mom combination attack is what really injured Ulti, and they just, Nami just, just kept running. So, you know, it's, it's just, it just adds to that muddled nature of this fight in the long run, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, but that, that really messed her up for a little while. And so then they keep running, but then Ulti gets up one more time, and that's what we see in the, in the most recent chapter. Uh, she tries to get Otama. Uh, but then Nami, with her new, like, Zeus power-up climb attack, uh, clobbers her in the head, and then basically electrocutes her with this, like, super homing attack. And that appears to be the end of the fight. So it's kind of a lot of back and forth, like, kind of, like, a lot of chasing, uh, which was kind of my, not, not, maybe not... That made me not that big of a fan of the fight. It's all the chasing and all, all the Deus Ex Machina's and Big Mom. It's just, it feels like that was really kind of clumsy on Oda's part, the way he wrote that fight. And so, I I just would like to share how I would have written that fight. It, like I just feel like Nami and Usopp deserve a lot more credit uh, than, they're, than they're getting right now um, in the manga as like strong members of the Straw Hats. You know, they are the weakest members, they still have their own thing. And so uh, let's address the coward aspect of the characters because from the beginning of the fight, Usopp is still very much a coward and Nami is too because they both start running like, oh my God, like, don't blame it on me. And then they start running and stuff. Uh, a lot of people have a problem with Nami and Usopp still being so cowardly at like at this point in the story at this point in the new world um and I don't know like that is a, it is kind of a core aspect of their characters but I I do think at this point they they should be a little braver they should be or at least a little more confident in their abilities um you know like for example they have the, their strength Nami and Usopp, and I love that they're paired together in this fight. Like, that should have been great. Because they're both, they both have such an arsenal uh, in terms of, like, trickery. Like, they're both very, like, like trickery is definitely their strong point. Like, they'll never be, like, physically strong. Uh, they, they don't have, like, devil fruits or anything, but they're very smart and they're very tricky. Um, and I just, I wish Oda had utilized that more in their fight. It, like, I wish... They had even like pre-planned some stuff, like like maybe like w like it maybe wouldn't appear that way at first, but then like after like it, 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 at first they could look like they're still cowardly and they like start running like ah oh, Pedro and Ulti are chasing us, but then wouldn't it have been cool if they got them into like if they, if they they set up some traps and they lured them into these traps, uh and like like so they appeared to be cowardly. But really, they're luring them like like Batman style, like they had set up some stuff beforehand, and so like like there's so many tricks that they have, uh, like it, like that so many tricks that they didn't even use. Usopp used uh like used the skull bomb grass a lot in this fight, which is good. That's a good closer, but um, he has like so many other things like like the trampolia and like uh the Rafflesia thing like he only used this like once but it's like this big flower that emits like this really like stinky odor that's like really like debilitating and like um he has like uh this impact wolf that i don't think he used that at all like yeah, yeah i'm pretty sure he didn't use it in this fight against pedro and ulti 
And um, I feel like that's that's as strong, almost as strong as an attack as a skull bomb grass, if not more so. So it's weird that he didn't use it. And then um, on Nami's end, uh, this, I've, a lot of people have been talking about this, but um, remember Mirage Tempo? <laughs> that thing she used like that one time? Like, wouldn't that be perfect to use in this situation against Paige with an ulti? Who, like, like, if she maybe had refined it to the point where it really looks like there's clones of Nami and, and maybe even Usopp too. And like... That could lure, that could like lure page one and ulti into some more traps, maybe. Like, like say she lures page one or into like a trap with a with a mirage of Nami, and then like instead, and like she and to use the mirage tempo, it has to be really foggy, so she would have already laid down the fog, and then hidden under that fog could be like a trampolia that would bounce page one into the air, and then when he's in the air, you could hit him with. With an impact wolf like he like Usopp used against um, uh, Daruma, I believe his name was the, in, from Fishman Island, and you can combine it with like a lightning attack from Nami. So like you could like they could both hit him once they get him in the air with the trampolia, and, the, and so that would have been a cool combination. And then like or you you can do like some other stuff like with the Reflesia, you could distract both of them with the pungent odor, and then make like maybe. And they hit them with like a, uh, with the grass spear things, like the bamboo shoots that Usopp has. And he did use that on them, but um, but like that could have made them more like susceptible to it if he like maybe laid down the odor and like and also you've got Usopp's human drakes that you could maybe combine that with the Mirage Tempo too, where it's like you could like uh, have Mirage Tempo and like really the human there but instead of being Nami they're actually human drakes they like jump out and like grab onto ulti and then you can hit her with some lightning uh you know there's so many possibilities with the, or or in, or you can either the lightning or skull bomb grass and uh also skull bomb grass there's a lot of smoke and so maybe that could be like an initial thing and then also Nami could use that to like create like some fog and then that goes into the mirage tempo like there's so many ways they can piggyback off each other with their with their tricks, and I'm not saying like at the end of the day, Pedro and Ulti are still insanely strong. They're ancient on users. Um, they could probably they would plow through a lot of these tricks, but I'm just saying they could have they had a lot more in their arsenal that they could have done, and it just would have been so cool to see Nami and Usopp like like pair up like that and actually like pre-plan some like traps and like attacks. Like, I really I feel like they could have wore down Pedro and Ulti a lot. Uh, you know, even though they have crazy stamina, that that could... It would have been so cool to see them, like, handle two strong opponents, like, like calmly. Like, like, like for the first time ever, to not be so scared and just be, have faith in their capabilities and each other. And, uh, but instead, they're just kind of just, like, running around the whole time. Like, oh my god, like, they're just, like, reactionary instead of, like, taking action. And uh, also, there's uh, another thing that I feel like Oda might have forgotten about that uh, would have been really cool to see, like if Pedro and Ulti did get through all these traps that they had set up, and they're still coming, and they're a little uh, not even news, are a little more desperate. Um, remember that thing that Usopp did in Dress Rosa that was really cool, and he did it that one time in desperation. Uh, yeah, he awakened his observation hockey. Remember that? Yeah, Usopp did that. He awakened, he straight up awakened his observation hockey so he could, he could, uh, hit Sugar with that, you know, that, that scare attack from a super long distance. He's never used observation hockey again since, like, he's never, he's only used it one time, just like so many other things in his arsenal. And I really feel like Oda, I, I, I hope he hasn't forgotten about these things. Like, when it comes to Usopp, and like, he doesn't, it seems like he just falls back on, oh, Usopp's a coward. Usopp, tricky, because he's not, he's a coward or whatever. But it's like, wouldn't it be great to see him hone his observation hockey in this fight against Pedro and Ulti and use that to help set up, um, you know, to help, you know, fight against them and, like, see them coming and, like, 
and uh, maybe even have it, maybe you could even have Nami awaken some observation of Haki in this fight as well. Like, to, and, like to have like the two of them do that, and like that's what would help them win instead of having Big Mom and Otama help them out. It could be the observation hockey and their teamwork. I just feel like that would have been so much cooler. And you can still have Tama come in and like they would be like and then you have them protecting them and you can use like her dongo as like a distraction to have like some gifters come in, but I just really wish Nami and Usopp were the focus of this fight. Um, and so, you know, I just feel like there's so much potential lost in this battle. Um but yeah, um, but as for what's next for Nami and Usopp, uh, probably in this arc, not too much. I can't really think of, uh, I'm pretty sure Pedro and Ulti are down for the count. <laughs> like, um, but uh, I was thinking maybe they could back up Sanji if he, cause he's fighting Queen and if Queen, I was thinking since he's got so much, he's loaded with so much technology and we haven't seen his hybrid form yet, um, he might have some, like, a lot more up his sleeve. Like, maybe he might be too much for Sanji to handle. So maybe, I mean, Usopp could back him up. That would be cool. Um, or maybe if those numbers, <laughs> remember the numbers? Like, yeah, um, if they're still around, maybe they could just, maybe Nami and Usopp could fight them. But uh, mostly they just seem to be Otama's babysitters slash bodyguards. And so that, I just feel like that kind of sucks. I don't know about you. But, uh, but yeah, those are just my thoughts about Nami and Usopp and how they could have been handled in this arc. Uh, I just feel like it's a robust opportunity. But, uh, but yeah, that's uh, going to be it for this video, I think. So, yeah, hope you like it and subscribe and comment what you think about Nami and Usopp's potential and what you would have liked to see them do. But, uh, yeah, it's Parcel Jitsu. Signing out. But, to be honest, all Nami and Usopp really needed to do to win the fight was bust out their ultimate moves. You know what I'm talking about. That's right. Happiness Punch and the Rubber Band of Doom.